What up guys and welcome back. So today is the first of many modifications that we're going to be doing to the FJ um, coming up. Um, so I just kind of dried it off. Uh, we're kind of getting the aftermath of, uh, you know, Hurricane Ida right now. Um, not that we got hit here in Florida. To those who, who did get hit, um, you know, wishes and condolences and I hope everything is okay. Um, but it's causing a lot of rain now, and uh, what I'm about to do to the FJ, I need it to not rain. So I have to bring it into the garage, which means the Z has to go outside of the garage, which means I'm gonna freak out if it rains, even though it's covered. I'm still internally gonna freak out. But enough with my rant. Um, today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be refreshing all of the trim on the FJ. So as you can see, this is super faded. It's actually even becoming white. Um, so all of these panels, um, I'm going to be refreshing the wipers. I'm gonna to touch up paint on all of the trim. As you can see, it's just worn, it's spotted. Um, in some spots it looks okay, or not okay, but better than others, like right there, not so bad. Um, but as you saw over here, just a mess. Right, so uh, this is gray, just because of from faded. So you got two different colors here. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna be cleaning it all up. Um, actually, the biggest change, obviously I'm gonna do this wiper too. There's a little, little crap coming off there. But this is, again, it's past the gray stage and uh, is like slowly fading to white now. So just gonna be touching it all up. Um, I'm going to be spending the next month pretty much focusing in on the FJ as I wait for my rods and pistons and girdle and everything else for the Z, which is just cannot wait. But um, while I'm doing that, like I said, focusing in on the FJ and we're going to make this thing like mint. Um, I mean, it looks great now and we're very happy with it now, but um, there's a lot I can do to it, right? So a lot more I can do to it, including some, you know, extra modifications outside of just trim and things along those lines. So just making it look badass. Um, so let me, I just kind of wiped it down a little bit to dry it off. Let me bring it in to the garage. I really hope it, I think the roof rack should make it in there. This is a normal garage. So I think you got seven feet here, so should be okay. But let me bring this into the garage and uh, I'm going to start taping it down. All right, so I'm going to try and show kind of the technique I'm using. So I have um, uh, tape with like drape attached to it. Um, but what I like to do is, is I like to create um, kind of like a, a base tape. I don't know if you want to call it that first so that I know that the tape with the drape <laughs> is not going to slide or whatever it may be. And even if it does, there's backup. Um, but let me show you what I'm doing. So as I'm outlining everything, I have, let's go over here. This tool right here, um, honestly, I think I found them on Amazon. I actually, I use it for wraps and tint and everything along those lines. Uh, you can honestly, you could use a thinner credit card. Um, and so I have the tape laid out here. And then simply what I do with this is kind of just run it along the seam here. I really kind of use another hand to prop over. Uh, let's see if I can do it one handed for you. So let me use this to open up the, there we go. And then we can really kind of push the tape underneath. Um, that way I don't have any overspray and uh, I don't want to force it anymore just because like I said, I usually kind of need two hands with it but um, yeah that way you don't have any overspray and you know there's a, a good seal you're not gonna get paint where you don't want so um, yeah definitely look into these they're pretty badass they help out in general uh, with anything while working on the car you'll randomly be using this so um, but yeah that's what I'm doing for the whole car and then I'm going to cover it in uh, let me show you that is what it is called my life unit is literally what it's called. Again, on Amazon, I've used it before. Automotive masking film, right? Easy enough. So uh, 
that's what I'm gonna be using on Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks and I've used it before. It works really, really well. So um, let me finish this. I'm not gonna bother you with all this. It's just pointless for you to watch. Um, but I'll, go, I'll bring you through the actual prep when I'm kind of lightly sanding and cleaning up and everything like that, so. All right, so figuring out the approach on how I'm gonna get these vents out or how I'm gonna end up painting these. Um, where they sit, to get to those, you do have to take apart the, um, the cowl underneath. Um, like you gotta pop the hood, it's underneath this area. Honestly, um, I don't really think it's necessary. It's not like you can see it in the engine bay. It's not like if I spray these, it's gonna go through into the engine bay. And it really is a super light coating that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm actually gonna paint the car with it on. It would just be less work um, and much easier to just tape this off and so on and so forth. So uh, as I did say, I'm gonna be painting the um, wipers, both the rear and front uh, to get these off. So you are just popping off the little tabs here. Right, you got like the tabs on you on each of them and then I don't know that may look like a 14 So screw these off and then we should be able to pull those off and then I'm gonna paint those off of the car. So uh, Let me do all that. Let me finish taping and We can get to sanding Okay, so now that everything is pretty much taped off. I am going to wet sand it all with 600 grit uh, sandpaper and uh, yeah, that should scuff it up just just enough because it's not terrible. I just want to scuff it up a little bit, um, kind of re remove some of the just like marks that are on it, and then also obviously give some kind type of a grainy surface for the new paint to stick to. So let me do that real quick. I'll fast forward it for you guys so you don't have to sit and watch me the entire time. sanded down I just used degreaser and a and a rag um, and I just kind of clean it up now um, and then when I'm done doing that I take isopropyl alcohol and wipe everything down to make sure it's just like there's no dirt it's just really clean so hey so I'm an idiot and uh, got super frustrated uh, with the passenger side here, which I'll show you. Um, and I forgot to record because of that one. It's just so simple when you can just press a button, but I literally just pulled all the tape off and was like, are you joking? <laughs> anyway, so let me at least just show you. Um, so I had everything taped off. You saw kind of the process of that. You saw how I sanded everything down. Um, I will say, don't use this or at least I've used it before and it worked fine but it did not work for me today what did work though was this and um, unfortunately it was a little bit too late I guess for saving or not necessarily saving but to kind of get that perfection look that I was kind of going for but it is what it is it looks better than it did um, so that's a good thing uh, but let me start up front here so everything does look really good up front so I have no problems here at all um, those look awesome those vents look awesome and uh, you know I also this trim piece right here that we got so that looks really really good I'm, I'm really excited about that Let's go to the driver's side, which isn't too bad either. Um, so here you go. So looks pretty good. So I'm pretty excited. You can see I got a little bit of a glare going here, but you can see it's not necessarily perfect. There is a little bit of like a orange type of a peel type thing, but it's not bad at all. And honestly, you would not really ever notice um, unless you were like truly 
critiquing my job and looking to see. So, um, yeah, all looks pretty good. Right here, uh, looks like we got, uh, wait, yeah. I don't know, it looks like while it was drying, looks like some dust decided to fly in there. So that's, that's great. Um, then we got in the back here, so if you remember, this literally was, looked like garbage. Um, it was basically white. So that is looking much better. Also got the whole black trim up here. Not bad. Um, again, not perfect. Um, the first couple of coats putting on that other paint and trying to continuously sand it down to get it to look nice I think was just a little bit too much wear and tear but it is what it is not bad over here though is where it kills me um, I gotta run right there there you go you can see it right there perfectly not really too sure how considering i put such small amounts on there and i sanded that down like crazy from the minute i saw it uh but it i cannot get rid of it um so yeah so we're living with it and then um yeah some orange peel here again uh, there you go you can see it right there with that angle so um but overall not bad like I said, better than it was. Um, so I am happy with it overall. Um, and uh, and yeah, well, uh, like I said, I'm going to let this sit here. It's going to dry for, I don't know, at least a full 24 hours. Um, it's, the rain should be fully done. Actually, I think it's done now, but it should be fully done tomorrow. So I'll bring the car back out tomorrow. The Z will sit in the driveway overnight. It's okay, I'll put the kill switch on because I just get nervous because I'm a weirdo. But um, yeah, other than that, honestly, when this is all done, um, when I wrap the roof, when we do some paint correction and ceramic coat and so and the mirrors and you name it, right? When we're done, it's gonna look really, really good. So like I said, this month is going to be a big focus on the FJ as I am waiting for a ton of awesome parts for my Z so it gives me time to really focus on this and uh, make this thing pretty I think I'm thinking about putting on an exhaust <laughs> for, for the FJ as well too um, leave in the comments below if you guys run anything um, I have been looking at a few different ones Boiler makes a few um, but yeah let me know if you guys run anything because I would definitely love input um, and I'm not gonna tell my wife I'm just gonna let her figure it out when she starts it up one day i don't even think she'll know she literally just gets in the car and drives so let's look at this thing oh my god terrible i gotta get rid of that it's even starting to rust right on the bottom there so anyway enough rambling uh, i really appreciate you guys watching the video please like please subscribe like i always say ton of stuff to come i am always working on my cars um and uh, yeah, big things coming, especially if uh, you want to follow for the FJ. A lot of stuff coming, uh, especially in the upcoming episodes. So thanks again, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.